first thing you have would be um, a superficial cream. So I'm going to need a cleansing milk, okay? And it's a very nice one. It's got lavender and chamomile, and it's ideal for people who've got sensitive skin. As I said, it's a superficial cleanse. The first cleanse is superficial. The second cleanse is a bit more deeper than the first one. Are you okay with a cleansing brush? Uh, yeah, it should be. My skin is quite sensitive sometimes though. Okay. This is only a suction brush, okay? Okay. And it gives the skin a deeper cleanse than normal hands. It's ideal for clearing up any congestion and um, around the nose area.
just going to bring back the pH balance of the skin by using a lovely toner here infused with chamomile and lavender it's very natural it's good for sensitive skin as well Have you got any um, contact lenses? No. Good. So I'm just going to do a skin analyzation of your skin type with the hot stones if there's some areas that are puffy puffiness or swollen we may have to avoid it or work around those areas more okay. especially underneath the eye area so with this the magnifying light is quite bright. How old are you? Twenty-five. Okay. So if you turn towards me, thank you, Melissa. Well the good news is so far, um, you don't appear to have any signs of aging on your forehead. That's good. Which means, you know, you're doing a really good job on your skincare. So you have some broken capillaries on the eyelid here, mm. but I think that's due to you being quite fair mm. and they're showing up. If you turn to the other side, so I can see that you have slight congestion around the cheek area mm. and some pigmentation, slight pigmentation patches, and that could be due to um, the sunlight you know, skin damage somewhere without using a skin protecting uh, sunblock. Are you due for your your periods coming on soon? Um, I've got about two weeks. So you've probably got a build up mm. of uh, pre premenstrual tension and that's where the skin starts to lack moisture. Okay, and that's where you should be drinking more water around that time. If you just turn towards the other way, so on the cheek area, some congestion. Congestion could be anything. It could be pustules, it could be spots, it could be pig pigmentation, it could be dryness, on dry patches. So what skin type would you say you are? Um, I've often been told I'm combination. Yeah, I would say that you're slightly I think you're more on the normal side, but you do have um, some oily patches just on, on the upper cheeks here, and mm -hmm. definitely on the nasal area, the lower nasal area. I would say, not even on so much the T-zone, but it would be more on the nasal area, the lower part, and the upper part of the cheeks. They tend to be more um, open pores, I would say. So do you have a proper skincare uh, routine that you yeah. go through? Cleansing, do you know? Yeah, I do all the, yeah. I also wear sun cream every day. Yes, okay. And do you do exfoliation? Occasionally, yeah. Occasionally. Yeah, not okay. too much or I go too red. Okay. Now, have you got any allergies to coconut oil? No, not at all. The hot stones, they tend to go nicely with the coconut oil much more smoothing and with the coconut oil it's not so thick thick and sticky it's much more light okay. in, in a texture so I'm just going to check the stones now that they're okay to use so because there's some slight congestion around the underneath the cheek areas and also on the chin the hot stones will help try to eliminate the uh, congestion by bringing natural healing those areas. While the stones are being cooled down, I'll proceed with the um, facial, get your facial area nice and warmed up.
So this is um, a natural, pure um, coconut, fractionated coconut. So it's very pure, it's very natural product, more, more organic coconut oil from a company called Utoria. Are the stones okay? Mm, that's okay. nice. So after a while, the stones tend to lose their heat. So, but I have other stones to use if I feel the heat being lost.
you had a few open pores on the nozzle area so the cold stars will help tighten up the pores okay This is the natural lip balm by Detroria. Okay. Thank you. And would you like an eye cream? Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. So this is an anti-aging eye cream, and it has um, lavender, yang lang, and frankincense. Frankincense is well known for anti-aging. Open your eyes, please. So you just always tap gently your index finger underneath the eye. So I'm just going to sanitize your hands Thank you. and your nails. Relax. Thank you. I would just need to discuss with you the shape of your nails. So at the moment, they're kind of like squarish. Yeah. So what type of work do you do? Um, just lots of computing work. Okay. okay. So mostly people that are doing your type of job, they tend to do have square nails because they could be managing better. Right. So uh, would you like your nails to be squared? I mean, there are choices. You can have square nails, you can have rounded nails or oblong shape. Yeah, I think square's quite nice. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't ever usually get like my nails done, so I don't really, really? know. Much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Your nails do they tend to break easily? Um, I don't think so. They get they usually are a lot longer than this, and so they break when they get long. Okay. But. So what length would you like your nails to be? I think just maybe a neater version of the present. Okay, so okay. I'll start shaping them now, and then you tell me exactly when you think that enough is enough. Okay. I, I trust your opinion. <laughs> okay, so basically, <laughs> I'm using a very natural nail file because your nails are quite. They're, they're medium, they're not thick and they're okay. not thin, but this natural nail file is ideal for your nail. Your nail type. How is this length for you? Yeah, that's really good. Thank, Thank you. you. Looks so much neater. Oh. 
So do you do any filing at home or how do you file your nails when you're doing your filing? I don't, I don't usually file them. Okay. <laughs> I just cut them scissors. Yeah, there is a correct way of filing your nails, okay? So basically, okay. never do this. Right. Sawing. Because okay. when you saw like that, they tend to break. So it's best to do one side like that, stop, and then go back like that. Get and then you can round off the corners like that. You see, yeah. it's best to use one of these natural nail files because then you won't take off too much. I mean, something like this is more for the toes and thicker nails, and it would take off too much of your um, free edge. Right. What is free? Oh, a free edge is this. This line here is called oh, a free. The white bit. Yeah, it's called a free edge. you know you know when they do your French manicure yeah they always need like a, a free edge to paint you want to see to paint the free edge so yeah. it makes the nail look more you know professional looking oh. it's nice to have a free edge actually when the nails are filed right down yeah. to the nail plate it looks doesn't look really that great but when you just have a nice little free edge yeah. it makes it look so much more nice They always need a free a free edge. <clears throat> Otherwise, they won't have anything to paint. Right. The white tip, you know. one won't have much of a free edge <clears throat> because it was very rounded in the first place and it didn't have a free edge right. okay. it only had a very small amount of free edge so to make it grow nice and healthy with a nice healthy free edge I think it's best to just um, file it down quite low okay. and then when it starts to grow up which will be quite soon um, we'll have a nice free edge there just check for me and see that they're all the same length more or less really okay. and that there's no roughness if you just go like that to check that there's no roughness on the uh, nail plate. Okay. 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 okay thank you thank so you. now we're going to do a like to like um, so it's very important that you have you have a same length of your your, your nails or free edge.
just the, the foam thing. The, um, the, this one. Oh, this is like a nail buffer. Right. So you can get one like this one, and you can get one like like this. This is more softer, right. and this is more harder. But your nails are quite, you know, they're quite strong. So I thought I'd just use this one. So basically, what I'm trying to explain that you do need to have a free edge when you're cutting your nails. Mm -hmm. Don't cut them right down, okay, okay. To, to the nail bed. This is the nail bed here. Mm -hmm. Because if you cut them down too low, you probably will get, in, you, you can <clears throat> get infection into the nail bed because that's where they can, they can creep in underneath there. So it's always nice to have a free edge to protect your nail bed. It's not about just cutting them super short. No, no, that's not a good <laughs> idea, really. <clears throat> because if you went into the bath and shower and you didn't actually dry your nails properly, you can leave your nails open to fungal infection. So it's nice to have a free edge. They do come in handy. Now this one was a bit difficult to maintain the free edge because the way it was shaped, mm -hmm. it was shaped more rounded. So each wow. time I tried to square it off, yes. I lost the free edge. Right. So, but like I said, the, the free edge will grow up in a few days okay. and it would match the same as your other nails. Yeah. Yeah, they were slightly different shape, and then the time you start, I started to file them. They didn't follow the way that I wanted to because mm -hmm. they was they was shaped definitely in a way that it was hard to get a shape to create. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Can I just have your thumb, please? Match this one. It's quite short. Just relax. So your blood supply seems very good because you know when you do this, you see the red blood come up yeah. very quickly. So that means oh. that your blood supply is really, really good. Oh, I didn't know that. That's neat. Yeah, I know. Some people, when their blood, when I squeeze their nails like that, yeah. if the blood is slow to come up or it doesn't come up hardly much, it means that they might have an iron deficiency. Oh. So it's a good idea to get that checked out at the doctor's. That's cool that you can see it from some of the nails. Definitely, you just go like that oh. and the blood supply comes up really good. <laughs> That's so neat. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, just bring down this free edge a bit more.
So because I'm cutting them down quite short, they match your other nails. Some of them, you may lose your free edge, but like I said, they will grow back up very quickly in a couple of days. So don't feel, well, one or two are not the same. They will be, it's just that when you're filing them down to get the, the length, to match the, the others, you lose the free edge mm. sometimes. But, you know, they will be matching up soon. So, if you could um, do the same <coughs> as you did with your other hand, just check that they're all like to like. If you see anyone that needs filing down, could you please just tell me if they're not yeah. even? Because you can see better from your... Yeah, they all look pretty good. So I'm going to start some work now on the cuticles and I have a electronic machine. So basically what this machine does, it pushes down the cuticles and it also removes them at the same time. Oh, okay. That's quite nice. Yeah. is um, some cuticle remover your cuticles are not that bad so this is ideal You okay? Yeah, it's just really relaxing. Oh, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, my lord. <laughs> I've never had it done before. So. Really? Yeah. yeah, I mean, to tell the truth, when I was trained at the uh, London College of Beauty Therapy, um, they told us that we should never really use a cuticle knife to cut the skin mm. because... Um, we're not trained to do that, really. Right. Only a doctor should be cutting anyone's skin. Oh. So I don't really um, endorse cutting um, the skin. Right. I find the machine does the, the does the job perfect. Mm. You know, you find a lot of shops. Um, you know, some business premises that what they would do, they would push down the cuticles, and then they would get a cuticle knife this one here, then they start cutting the hard skin. Oh. But what you'll find that the hard skin grows back thicker. Uh, okay. Where this is more yeah, of a, more this of a is problem. more of a softer effect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, um, well, it's a safe the way, really, because you know you need to find out lots of things about the client, you know, as you did with our consultation form. Mm. Because um, if a client is diabetic mm. and they and they get you know cut in a procedure, yeah. um, it has to be recorded on the record card what happened. And um, I'm afraid some places don't do that, I'm afraid. No. They don't ask the client if they're diabetic.
Can you see your cuticles all I being know. removed? Like snow. <laughs> oh, but you haven't got your cuticles, there's not a lot. This is just like hardly anything, really, because the more cuticles that are, the thicker, the, this machine can go up to number six. You're only on number one. Oh, okay. So that's really good that your cuticles, they're not too bad at the moment, you know. Thank <laughs> you.
so we're now going to get some water, hot water, well warm water, and we're going to do a hand exfoliation. Thank you. So I'm going to use your hand exfoliator, and this is lovely. This is the um, the spa exfoliating body scrub by Detoria. Oh, it and smells it's amazing. Yes, um, would you like to have a sniff? So, so it's good. infused with lemon, lavender, and grapefruit essential oils. So you can use it as a body scrub, oh, and that includes okay. the hands, of course. So let's have one hand, please. Thank you. So the hand exfoliation is really good to remove um, dead, dead skin, dead skin cells from the upper layer of the skin, which is the epidermis. Yeah, just leave your hand to soak for a little while. That'd be nice. It gives the skin a nice soft effect and a deep exfoliation. So I'm just going to use some more cuticle cream to help soften your cuticles a bit more. So this would be a good opportunity to um, try and check to see um, any derpes, derpes, derpes underneath the nail plate. Which there isn't, but oh, we're just doing it as a procedure. Okay. So that's good that there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, no, there isn't. No, no, no. But as a procedure, mm -hmm. we just meant to do it anyway, you know, yeah. just to double check. Oh, I'm glad. Now I'm going to thoroughly dry your hands. That's 
smells so nice. <laughs> oh, the clients, they always love this bit. <laughs> so just press your hands there, just wrap them there so you can dry naturally. So this would be a chance for me to double check that your nails are all one shape okay. and to do a final polish up. So when you're doing your filing at home, just do it gently and slowly, as I said before. Okay. So you won't you won't take off too much that you will regret. Right. So the slower you do it, the more you're likely to keep your shape that your desired shape that you require. Well, it's, it is um, synthetic, but it's not animal hair. <laughs> no, no, it's a very nice soft, soft um, nail brush. Duster, I should say, duster. Yeah. Because your nails have been in water, they can become a little bit jagged, you know? So just because it's... The, nail plates is quite soft so I'm just trying to get it back into a nice even shape So we're going to go into, the, I'm going to start now with the massage of your hands, okay? So I'm going to use some natural she butter from Ghana and it's 100% pure 
unrefined shea butter rich in vitamins A and E, which is really good for the skin. And this will go lovely with the hot stones. massage before. Really? You've never had your hands massaged? Yeah, I've had um, quite a few like back and shoulders. Oh yes, and face, yeah, yeah. But never never usually hands. No. In the normal manicure manicure procedure, mm. we always um, do a hand massage. Oh, always. It's exciting. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like it. So oh. I'm already getting sleepy. Oh. see you feel how your hands feels super soft yeah they're so soft like when they went in the water it suddenly felt yeah. like different skin yeah I mean with the exfoliation I mean it's quite a deep exfoliation so it just makes the skin looks a bit more brighter mm. Yes, well. exactly. It's always good to do the elbows as well because the elbows is a part that gets a bit, you know, neglected oh. in a manicure treatment. Yeah, they're quite dry, I think, my elbows. The elbows can get quite dry, yeah. yes. I think as well, because the skin's quite harder, there as well, just maybe that's why it may need more extra moisturization. Mm. Oh, it's a good idea to moisturize the cuticles because now your cuticles have been removed. While I'm moisture, whilst I'm doing this massage, I'm pushing them down as well again with mm. my thumb. So you want to make sure that they stay down for a long time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to proceed now with the hot stones hand massage Thank and you. I just need to remove this water yeah. to get the stones ready for you. Could you check the um, stones to see if they're okay for you? Oh yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. That's lovely and warm. Uh oh. Thank okay. you. So with the stones, there are various sizes. So this is a stone here that can be, it's a quite a small stone, and it can be used for the face or for the hands. So this is really good because they get in between, you see these, these lines here, in between here? Yeah. They're called metal, metal cartels. Okay. So that's the, um, in, the gap between the bones here. So. Wow. 
Oh, so they can get the tension. Yes, exactly. Oh. Yeah, the swarm feels really nice. It's so weird, I didn't even know I had like tension there. <laughs> You find people who have repetitive jobs, they try, they tend to get more tension. Mm. Yeah, lots of typing. And they're lo yeah, they're, that's why it's good to invest in a stress ball, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, you squeeze it like that to release the tension from your hands. Oh, is that what it's for? So as you know, with the hot stones massage, the stones, they bring lots of healing for tense muscles, tension, aches and pains, and just to alleviate um, the pains really on the muscles, the bones, the joints. As you know, you've had hot stones before, they tend to lose its heat. Yeah, after a little while, isn't it? Yeah. So, I removed that one because that's lost its heat a bit, but this one's got more heat now. It feels so nice. <laughs> you see me getting sleepy. Oh gosh, I tried to keep you awake. Oh gosh. Don't show how to oh, keep my eyes open. I think it's like last time with the facial. Yeah. Like I can shut my eyes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is what happens when um, a lot of people have the hot stones. Mm. They tend to. Um, it's, su it's such a relaxing therapy. They get really tired and sleepy, because that's just the natural effect of the mm. um, the healing of the uh, basal stones going into your bodily system. So I'm going to put some stones between some of your fingers. So give me a, an opportunity to proceed with the next stage of the massage by doing it on this hand and arm. Relax. Actually, let me just bring this a bit more towards you so that you've got more room to relax your arms. So while the stones are bringing more healing, okay, um, I'm going to proceed now with um, a paint, well, a colour. Well, I don't really have much um, nail varnish. I don't do nail varnish anymore. So this is, a, this is a holistic manicure. But I do have some almond oil here, and this will help oh. to nourish your cuticles. Thank you. Or you can have um, nail growth treatment, and it does come with a colour to match oh, your, okay. your top. Oh, that's so, also cute. So, what would you prefer? Um, oh, I like both. Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I can do this on your, this called nail tuition, 
um, it's a nail growth treatment from Orly. So mm -hmm. I can do that on your nail plate and then I can put the almond oil around the cube. Yeah, that sounds lovely. Yes. But like I said, this is a holistic brand mm -hmm. and I don't endorse chemicals yeah. on, on clients. But some clients, they do like to have a feel of some type of colour, you know? Right. Oh yeah, I'm glad it matches my top. Definitely. <laughs> So now do you know what I mean about the free edge? Mm -hmm. So you always need to have a free edge. Now that I've applied that colour, yeah. your free edge is more apparent. Can you see? Right, the mm -hmm. way that, yeah. It looks oh, more... it's got like a little glow to it. Yeah. Shine. So did, does this one help the nails grow? Oh, yes, yes, because... Um, like I said, the way your nails were shaped, some of them lost their free edge when I was filing them. Mm -hmm. But they're going to come back to the rest of the other ones that has a free edge. And mm -hmm. this um, will help with the nail growth. Okay. So you don't really have to have a two coats because it's quite thick actually. Yeah, so I think yeah. that one coat is quite nice. I think if you put too many coats on, they start flaking away even more easily. Mm. Yeah, it looks really nice. Just gives them that extra shine. Exactly. So this um, nail coat will help your nails from flaking and breaking for at least a week. So it gives the chance for the free edge to grow without breaking away. I'll just give it a minute or two just okay. to... Um, would you like another coat or are you happy uh, with... I'm happy with what okay. I okay. yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, so I think it's safe to say that we can. I can proceed now with... Um, the almond oil. Almond oil is really good to have by your bedside, Melissa. Oh, because okay. I have this by my bedside, not this one. I've got my own one at home. Yeah. And I just use it around my cuticles. And right. it stops the cuticles from being, being, being dried out, you know? Right. Oh, that's so interesting. It just keeps the cuticles nice and, you know, stop them from get, coming all dry and flaky. I never knew almond oil was good for that. Yeah, almond oil, olive oil. It's nice when it's all natural, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Because this treatment you can do at home, you know, you don't have the pressure of going to the nail salon and having a, you know, proper chemical paint. You mm -hmm. know, you can still get some type of effect, especially in your, in your line of work where you're using the computer. Mm. A lot. You can just have a nice natural effect, you know, about the pressures of running t to a salon to get like your nail polish done. Yeah. And it only takes about maybe twenty minutes just to just put on the, you know, even ten minutes. Yeah, I guess if you put it beside your bed as well, you remember it. Yeah, that's what I do. I put it by the bedside. So not every night. I do it about maybe. Twice a week. So now the stones can come away. And we're finished. They look lovely. They're all shiny. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the first stage is to find out if you have any makeup on. So do you wear contact lenses? No. And have you got any makeup on? No, any? I just had some sun cream on this morning. Okay, alright. So the first stage is to do a cleanse.
So I'm going to use a milk cleanser and it's for sensitive skin. So I always use a sensitive range, which is a very gentle range on a facial, on the first cleanse, because I don't know your skin type. Well, I met you before, Melissa, so I do know that you're sensitive, but that was quite a long, a while ago, so your skin type may have changed and the characteristics of your skin. So it's very light, gentle cleansing milk and it's ideal for your skin type if you still are sensitive and it's not harsh then infused with aromatherapy chamomile and lavender which is quite calming to the skin The smell is so nice. So I'm just going to make sure that any excess water is removed from your facial area. I'm going to proceed now with a toner and this is from the same range it's from Skin Truth um, Salon Skin Care and it's a toner for sensitive skin and it's infused with chamomile and lavender oh, I love the smell of lavender lavender has been used in skin care for many 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 years it's known for its calming and healing priorities So basically, um, as I mentioned before, when a person cleanses their skin, the pH balance is kind of disturbed and when you use a toner like this, you're bringing the pH balance back to its normal normality, how it mm. was. So the skin just looks um, in a condition ideal for analysation so of your skin type and the characteristics of your skin. Basically a cleanser um, can strip the skin of the pH balance, that's why you need a toner to rebalance the skin. So 
Uh, Melissa, would you say that your skin is still sensitive? Um, I think so, yeah, it gets okay, wet so, quite easily. So what products are you using for your skin at the moment? Um, I use a hyaluronic acid cleanser oh, yes. by CeraVe, um, and then a moisturiser as well by CeraVe. Okay, so on your forehead mm. it's quite torn and it looks a bit dehydrated. Okay. I can see that overhaul, you're quite fair and your skin is quite sensitive, okay? Mm -hmm. But it also could be a combination as well because you've got oily um, pores, mm -hmm. open pores on the natural area here, which are quite open and it's quite oily. And also on the cheeks, there's open pores there. You have slight congestion on the chin area here. Lots of congestion on the cheek area here and along here underneath the jawline here. It's quite oily actually as well. Um, there's quite um, a few um, spots here as well along this area here where it probably means that it needs more um, detoxification along this area here. Can you open your eyes please, Melissa? So underneath your eye area is a bit kind of like grey and slightly shallow where probably lack of sleep. Yeah. Yeah, it's been happening for, not for a long while, but for a while. Yeah. Okay, because it's not so shallow and it's not so grey, but it's slightly very taunt as well, which is lacking a lot of dehydration along the underneath the eye area. So basically the eye area is one of the places that I think I told you before mm. that is very, very thin. Okay. Thank you. So now that I know your skin type, your skin type and characteristics is oily combination, but it's also sensitive and um, you have young skin. So it's young, sensitive sensitive skin, but it's also oily and combination. So the product that you should be using is mm -hmm. more for your skin type, more gentle products. Okay. So basically, I'm going to proceed with the cleanser that I used on you before. Okay. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start the second cleanse and it's going to much be much more deeper um, than the first cleanse. The first cleanse was superficial, okay? That's how it's done in a, you know, salon spa environment, a superficial cleanse. Then the second cleanse is much deeper. So this is a milk cleanser, so with um, cleansers, they come in all different forms. Some come in milk cleansers, you get cleansers that are um, in gel forms. It all depends on um, you know, the client, I mean, well, the, if you're going to buy a cleanser, it all depends on you know what you prefer. Do you prefer milk cleanser? Do you prefer gel cleanser? Some people with oily skin, they prefer a gel cleanser because they feel because their skin's oily or combination it kind of feels sticky oh. so when they have um when they buy a gel cleanser and it starts to foam up um they it, they believe psychologically that their skin's being deeply cleansed Right. So I'm going to use a man, uh, electronic, well it's not electronic, it's battery operated and it's a f facial brush and this will help to go far deeper than my fingers and my hands can go 
in um, giving you a deeper cleanse because there is a lot of um, congestion I said around this area here and it could be due to lack of the appropriate uh, products for your skin type and its characteristics so or it could be when people have um, congestion it could be uh, spicy foods it could mm. be lack of um, a stable diet it could be worry or stressed as well that can cause um, the skin to break out and also your skin's quite dehydrated as well do you work in an environment where you have artificial lights on you a lot um, I have like office lights. Yeah, the are they quite, are they fluorescent lights or are they quite, um, are they warm light lighting? Um, I'm not Because sure. the fluorescent lights, they can be quite harsh on the skin, you know, and cause a lot of dehydration. I do find the room I'm in very dry. Very dry, yeah. especially in the winter months when mm. you have the radiator on a lot. Yeah. You know, that kind of um, dries the skin out quite a lot when you have the radiators on for a long period of time. And also the, um, oh, you know, the um, air conditioning, mm -hmm. that has a drying effect on the skin as well. Mm. So all these things are internal factors that can affect the skin, you know? Mm. And also if the skin's lacking vitamin D. So in the winter months, it's really important that you get as much vitamin D, like going out, you know, in the daytime for lunch, not staying in because the skin does thrive on vitamin D. They need vitamin D really, vitamin C. So if you have a stable diet of lots of fruit and vegetables and water, mm -hmm. you it can help detox the skin because you know most foods we eat they have tox they have toxins within them. Mm. So when you have like a stable diet, um, if you do, I don't know, but you do you have a stable diet? You know, like uh, fresh vegetables, you know, fruit and veg, you know, and water. Uh, yeah, I'm trying my best to eat more of them, but I think I'm not super healthy. Okay. And quite a few sweet foods as well. Yeah. Yeah. When I have more active breakouts, it's usually when I've been eating worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're eating lots of chocolates and crisp mm. and everything, and they tend to have a lot of um, high salt and sugar mm -hmm. in them, and they just tend to just clog the, the skin, really. The skin can't really breathe with too many of these chocolates and crisps, so it's a good idea to see if you can cut down on them. Mm -hmm. So it gives your skin a chance to breathe, you know, and start clocking, uh, blocking, blocking all the pores. Mm -hmm. I find if I've had alcohol as well. Yeah, alcohol, um, cigarettes, um, they all, um, have a damaging effect on the skin mm -hmm. because they strip the skin of its natural nutrients. The skin really um, needs as much collagen and hyaluronic acid as it possibly can. Mm -hmm. So when you um, have lots of like junk food, alcohol, you know, not trying to be boring, but there's certain things in life that they kind of strip the collagen from you. So some people, they age a lot quicker than others because they are losing their collagen fast. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of skincare products now um, have collagen um, um, priorities in them and hydrolauric acid because yeah. they're natural chemicals in our bodies um, that we are naturally um, born with. Mm -hmm. So 
I'm just going to proceed now with a second cleanse. So I'm not going to use the toner for sensitive skin. I'm going to use a toner um, which is um, for rebalancing because like I said, um, you are sensitive but you do have areas like I said before, the nasal area here is open pores and on the cheek area is quite open pores, it's quite oily. So I'm going to use a toner and it's a rose facial toner and it's made with natural rose petals. And this is a rose toner doesn't matter where you buy it from but this is a professional range but rose rose toner it helps to rebalance the skin and it's ideal for skin imperfections so anytime you have a breakout and you feel that your skin is um having some imperfections um i always used um, a rose toner to rebalance me rebalance my skin of the imper imperfections doesn't it smell lovely? It smells so lovely. So nice. good. And you know that your skin, and it's also very calming to the skin, um, um, a rose toner. It's very calming and healing. You know, rose toners have been used for centuries to calm the skin, rebalance the skin, and also to heal the skin of any imperfections. So now that I've done the... Um, the rose toner on you. I'm going to proceed now with a facial massage, okay? And that will help rebalance you and help bring out some toxins um, from you, from the facial area. I'm going to use um, coconut oil. Coconut oil is very, it's a very light oil for massage, especially for the facial massage. So uh, this helps to warm the skin and warming the skin up for you and working on the lymphatic drainage system so you can help with releasing toxins from within the body to help detoxify you. You okay, Melissa? Yeah, God. Feels really nice. Yeah, just doing some nice lymphatic drainage movements to stimulate the blood flow. You can feel like all the tension. Yeah, melting. exactly. I mean, once there's tension in the facial area, you know, it can, it can cause imbalances. Especially um, if, if, if a client's been very poorly for a long time, mm -hmm. you'll find that if a client's been very poorly, they've not been eating very well, like taking their vitamin C and going out and getting their vitamin D, you'll find that their, their, their skin's quite tra traumatised and it's lacking, um, it's quite um, dehydrated. Once the skin becomes dehydrated, it just becomes quite shallow, you know? A bit unhealthy looking, mm. a bit taunt as well. So you have very faint lines on the forehead. So you're not ready for Botox yet, and I don't <laughs> think I hope that I hope that you don't ever do Botox, Melissa, because your skin. I mean, your your skin's very young, and it looks very good, anyways, in good condition, apart from some odd breakouts there and then. But I mean, you can handle that. You can deal with that because you do know the cause mm -hmm. of the breakouts, as you said, you know before. Yeah, that, you know, but we all, the diet, the dietary thing, that's all it is really.
just got to get a balance, you know? Yeah, I think needles scare me a bit, so Botox kind of scares me. No, 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 I don't, I don't promote Botox <laughs> to anyone, really, but I'm just saying yeah. that um, when you have a, this is a holistic facial massage, mm. and it's a massage that I do, I offer on its own. Mm. If there were lines on the forehead, would moisturising help get rid yeah, of Yeah, I mean, basically, when you're doing your moisturising at home, what I do, um, this movement here is called scissors movement, mm. but you would have to stand up in a mirror and do it. So basically, what I'm doing, I'm ironing out the lines. Mm -hmm. Because the eyes, if you have, a, if a client has a regular um, facial massage, these lines can be ironed out. You see, they can be ironed out, and then the lines become less um, apparent. It's only when the lines become very deep, mm. then it would take a good couple of sessions to do an iron out, you know, to iron them out, but that's why it's good to start young, um, when you have enough facial, because then you can help um, deal with any issues of lines and wrinkles. This movement here is very good um, if you go on this side. It's very good for crow's feet. Crow's feet is where there's lines here, but you don't have them at the moment. But as we get older, we get crow's feet here. So when you go for a facial, the therapist should be able, like me, to do some nice iron out. Even if you haven't got them, it's still a nice treatment to have just to keep this area nice and healthy and lines free. I'm going to use a light exfoliator because I know your headbands, um, because your hair is quite fine, so the headbands moves up, but it's okay. Oh, it's okay, yeah. yeah. So it's I'm fine. going to use a light exfoliator as well, and this is very gentle. And this will help to do a deeper exfoliation to remove. the last traces of the cleanser and to give the skin a more of a glow and uh, make the skin actually more clearer as well. Basically exfoliation helps to remove dead skin cells. The dead skin cells build up every four to six weeks so it's good to use an exfoliator on the skin facial exfoliator, not a body one. A body exfoliator is too harsh for the skin. It's a good idea to use, well, you must use an exfoliator at least three times a week, especially living in the city with all the dust and the pollution, you know? It mm -hmm. just affects the skin so much. But when you exfoliate, you're helping to remove the dead skin cells. So I'm going to use our lovely rose toner again to help rebalance um, the skin and to help deal with the um, congestion and the imbalances of your skin here around this area that we discussed before to make it feel more calming, you know, not so much traumatised. Once again, I'm bringing back the pH balance to your skin, okay? So 
So now that I've analysed your skin, I've decided today, Melissa, that I'm going to um, perform on you um, the lovely gold facial. Now the gold facial, well, is very popular. It has been popular for a very long time. And I actually, um, I'm very fortunate to be working with a very exclusive brand, which is called Kashmara, which has been going from 1972. They are the first and the original um, peel-off masks uh, specialist. So actually, this gold um, mask that I'm going to apply on you is a peel-off mask, and it is made with 24 karat gold dust. Wow. So from the Egyptian days, they actually used gold because gold was found to be in their skincare because they found it to be very um, uplifting and anti-aging. So this gold mask is not just any old gold mask. It's actually not only the 24 karat gold, um, gold dust, it also um, is um, from the marine algae, which is a form of seaweed from the sea. And um, seaweed is known for anti-aging priorities, and it also can bring healing to um, acne skin, congestion skin. So when I take the mask off you, you will see a big improvement um, around the congestion area that was um, traumatised. It would feel much more calmer and um, cooler um, effect for you. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah. I just wanted to um, show you, Melissa, this is the 24 karat gold dust. Oh, wow! Yes, it's 24 karat gold dust. So basically, the gel is the main ingredient because it's got the um, marine algae ingredient from the sea, so it's quite hydrating. Mm -hmm. So how it works is um, this is a special bowl and a special um, spatula. So. And you just mix it up like this, like you're mixing up, you know, a bit of porridge. And here we go. It's all ready to be applied onto your skin, Melissa. Sorry, look up. Put it in the cup. Sorry. It smells really nice. Yeah, it's quite cooling. Now, most people, they like to have it, with the Kashmara mask, you're supposed to have it over your eyes. Would you like it over your eyes? Because um, you know your eye area was quite shallow, you know, to bring healing and nutrients to that area. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. okay. And your mouth as well, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you have to keep quiet now. I can't <laughs> talk. But just apply it. Very quickly, speedily.
has to stay on for 20 minutes, okay? That's the, the, that's the procedure. So I'm just removing the gold facial uh, mask from you. Melissa, are you okay? Yeah, I felt really nice, thank you. Like I said, uh, because it's like a jelly foam, it can get into a lot of <laughs> difficult places, but the main thing is that we've got it removed from the facial area. It's still got some on my fingers. <laughs> um, that's it. So I'm going to use an anti-aging moisturizer. So basically the anti-aging moisturizer is by Detoria and it's got lavender, jasmine, uh, guaninitum and frankincense. Sounds lovely. Granium. I think you've had this before. I think I, might yeah. have, I remember liking it. Yeah. Yeah, it smells and fine. And I'm just going to apply the um, anti-aging eye cream, which I know you've had before with the rollable. Um, good for the lymphatic drainage area. Look up, Melissa. So when you're applying your eye cream, always do it very gently with the in-depth finger because it has a lighter touch around this area. Because this area, as I mentioned before, is quite sensitive. This roller ball helps with the lymphatic drainage underneath the eye. Some nice drainage movement here will help with calm down any puffiness and dark underlined circles. Look up, Melissa. Okay. And would you like a lip balm? I guess, please. I know you had that lip balm before, haven't you? I remember really I know liking you really it. liked it. <laughs> so this is by Detoria, and um, it's a natural aromatherapy lip balm. But this one has no, um, you know, no colour. It's just very plain, very plain but it's um, infused with aromatherapy oils to help with dry lips, which your lips are not dry. Can you just open your mouth slightly so I can get to the upper lip? Just help with, you know, any crack edges at the side of the lips. And just purse your lips as normal. Oh, like squeeze, um, just yeah, tap them in like you would when you're just doing your lip gloss. So now, in my opinion, your facial area looks absolutely lovely. Oh, um, the congestion has calmed down. You can't hardly see it because the gold mask has drawn out a lot of the impurities from that area. So I think you'll be very pleased. Oh, so I'm you. just going to let you have a look um, at your skin. Oh, wow, yeah, it's really clear. Oh. Oh, thank you.
thank you so much. No problem, Melissa. Oh, thank you. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Good, thank you. Oh, nice to see you again today. Mm -hmm. So, you know, today we're going to have a little bit something different. We're going to have the holistic manicure, but the luxury manicure, and that's with the heated mitts. Okay, so the heated mitts is brilliant for people who's got dry cuticles and their hands are dry um, and it's a very more relaxing, penetrating um, treatment. When I take the heated mitts off, I can massage deeply into your skin to okay. make the skin feel more softer and more the muscles feel more relaxed, okay? Thank you. All right then, so instead of having oils or creams, um, you just have, I just massage... Um, the um, hand mask, so I'll be putting the hand mask um, on you as well, okay. and then I will put the hands into the heated mix covered up with a um, uh, plastic covering to protect your hands. And um, before you. we proceed, could you just please fill out the oh. consultation form? Of course. Um, the you. best you can, and then um, I'll see what type of shape and we can discuss um, your nails. Is that, is that enough, or do I need to? No. Oh no, you, we discuss this um, later. So basically it says, um, do you mm. use any hand lotion? And you said no. No, no, no I don't, don't use any. Do you use hand cream? No. So I'm, when I'm really bad at taking care of my hands. Oh my gosh, so when your nails are really dry, especially in the winter time, do you, yeah. most of people have a hand cream in their bag, you know, or their, you know. Yeah, I've had no um, hand cream. As I, when I was younger, people used to gift it to me a lot, but... I think when they've got lots of fragrance in, sometimes I come out in a rash. Oh, I see, because you're skin sensitive. Yeah, so I just started kind of disliking okay. putting it on. But you can get a sensitive range yeah, um, for a hand cream. Yeah. yeah. I have sensitive stuff for my face, and sometimes yeah. I just use the leftover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I don't really have like a specific But does your, hand, does, your, does your hands and nails get dry in the winter? Yeah, very. You <laughs> definitely need to get a hand lotion <laughs> or a hand cream. I can tell, because... Uh, it almost starts to look a bit like wrinkly because I've yeah, got so yeah. much lines here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The main thing to target um, dry skin and wrinkles on the hands is to use a very good hand cream. You've got anti aging okay. hand creams, yeah. you've got hand creams for sensitive skin, mm. but the main thing is to keep the skin nice and moist. Okay. So if I could just get you to, to sign oh, yeah. there for me that you agree for the treatment to so, go ahead. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you very Thank you. much, Melissa. Of course. I've noticed that your um, nails have grown yeah. since I last saw you. They've grown quite a lot, haven't they? They have. This one split yesterday, though, sadly, the thumb. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, um, they're a nice length. and um, So, what shape would you like your nails to be? I really liked the one you did. I think last time you made them quite squared, squared yeah, off. Okay. Quite natural. Okay. So I'm just gonna sanitize your hands. I've made this up myself. This is just lemongrass essential oils um, with water, so it can act as an antibacterial spray. It smells amazing. <laughs> yeah, lemongrass. You can put in the diffuser. You can use it in a massage. So very popular and. Um, in the Asian culture, they use a lot of lemongrass. Uh, not just in the Asian culture, even in Iran, you know, oh, um, they use, I had a client today and she said um, they use, um, is it, yeah, lemongrass in their cooking, yeah, oh, for really? curries and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, I really like the smell, it's very refreshing. Very. Yeah, they tend to use a lot of lemongrass on reception in their diffuser. Yeah, it smells, whenever I come here, it smells so nice. Yes, yes, they've got a diffuser. They use different um, essential oils. I think with lavend um, it, lemongrass, it's more uplifting mm. than lavender's more relaxing. So, so you said that you wanted your nails to be squared or yeah. rounded off? I think square was quite nice last okay. time. This one's grown quite squarish anyway, so, yeah, it's a Bit weird. These three nails seem to be square. 
these two are round and these three are square, so they're all a bit different. Yes. <laughs> so how would you like your length to be? Um, I will, I'll leave it up to you. <laughs> I trust your opinion. <clears throat> well, it's not good to have them too long because then they tend to break. Um, just have them, and in the summertime, the nails tend to grow a lot faster. It's only because the blood supply is more warm and then the nail plate tends to dry, to thrive more um, on the blood cells being more warm and they grow, they grow quicker. Oh, so interesting. It's just like in the summertime, people here tend to grow quicker as well mm. and so does the nails. Where in the winter time <clears throat> they grow a bit slower. Yeah. So I know I know you do like to have a length, so I won't bring them down too much. Is that okay for you, Melissa? Yeah, yeah I think that's lovely. So I'm using a very um, natural type of um, nail file. They're all natural, but they all got different um, textures. So this is ideal for your nails, this one, because the other ones, they might be a bit too harsh and they could actually um, split the nails. So the best way for your nails not to split is um, to correct them to file them correctly and also to buff the edges to keep them nice and strong and healthy. So when you're doing your filing at home, so you don't take off too much of the actual um, nail plate, it's best to do it slowly like this. When you go like that, you take yeah. off too much and then you can't do anything about it. Yeah, <laughs> so it's best gone. no, just do it nice and slow. So then you know that you're not gonna take off too much, you know? Try to buff the nails. Um, do you buff your nails at home at all? No. Try to get one of these, this is nice and soft. And okay. try to buff the nails every time you file them. Because when you buff the nails, as you can see, your nail plate's quite red. So it's bringing blood, more blood supply to the nail plate. So then the free edge will thrive more and be stronger because the buffing is bringing nutrients to the nail plate. Aww. So once they, you've got nutrients to the nail plate, the nail plate is nice and healthy and strong. So because you've got a free edge, I can actually hold the nail filed like this and then I can go under slightly, and then I can move like that. Instead of just soaring away, mm -hmm. I can just go under, you know? Yeah. Much more gentle on the nail plate, and that will ensure that there's no breakage. And don't forget to smooth the corners, you know, of the nail plate, so you won't be getting hag hag hagnet. Hang nails. That's the little bits, you know that. Oh, oh I hate those things. Oh like, gosh. Really <laughs> yeah. And if some people they rip them, oh, and then when you rip that nail, that hang nail, you'll find that you actually can rip the skin mm. as well. Then you can start bleeding. Oh no, that's painful. So this um, thumb um, nail plate, there's no free edge, but because I'm, I want to create a free edge of what little nail, what little free edge you have, I won't take it all away. I'll leave enough there to 
give it a chance to grow up. This will grow up in a couple of weeks because it's now summertime, you know? So to make sure that I've got an even, your nail plates are all even, I need to... Oh, sorry. sorry, that's okay. I just need to do a like to like. So this is longer than this one. So I just need to do a like to like because otherwise uh. you'll have one hand with longer nails. But they're quite strong though, your nails. Are they? They do, they do feel quite strong. They always grow quite quickly as well. Wow. Yeah. I mean, people are going to the salon to get your, your length. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice to hear. And you've got, you know, natural, nice natural nails. <clears throat> I don't really ever... Which is nice, because I think that society puts a lot of pressure on young girls to have false nails, or most, uh, even yeah. women, to have, like, false nails all the time. Or but, I mean, painted, like, yeah. or have them painted. But you've got, you know, you kept them natural. They look good, you oh, know. thank you. Oh. I mean, it's just because I'm lazy, but I'm glad that it, it helps them, probably. <laughs> I think, I don't know, when I, I've had um, gel nails done before. Yeah. And when... The gel came off. My nails just felt horrible. They yeah. were so brittle and yeah. <clears throat> damaged. And I, I really because like it. Because the chemicals. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't really yeah. want to do I've it. written a blog on my website about um, chemicals and what they do to the nail plate. Oh, I'm guessing it's not good. <laughs> no. They just rip the nail plate off all its nutrients um, because, after all, they're chemicals. And chemicals, that's what they do. Mm. They just rip the nail plate of all its nutrients. It weakens the nail plate. So because this one, this, this nail plate here, mm. it was sh shorter than this one, mm. so I might have to bring this one down yeah. to match that to one. Match.
think that um better leave it because the more that I'm doing it, the more that it's going down. But I'm just trying to match it because this one's quite low, but mm. I think that's about it now. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah, so I mean, the thumb is Oh, the thumb, right, okay. Yeah. So, oh, gosh. <laughs> it's good to have them the same length, though, isn't it? Yeah. Because they grow nicely together. When they match, yeah, it's good. That's about it. Still a bit longer. Should I take it down a little bit more? Um, I think it's okay. I don't you sure? Think, yeah. It looks so neat how it is. Just a yeah. little bit I'm more. I'm so sad this one fell off. It was just okay. in the shower yesterday. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it will grow back very quickly. Yeah. So, um, I'm just going to proceed <clears throat> to put um, some cuticle remover on your hands. Thank you. Well, on your cuticles. So when I push them down, they can go down a lot better. Okay, so you can put your hands. Is that it? Yep. Thank you. No, it's not hurting me at all. It's kind of relaxing that I get sleepy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay.
And last time I started to get really sleepy. Okay, okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I have that effect on people from what I've gathered. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, because I it's not something that I planned, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't plan it, you know, at all. Yeah, I have a very relaxing aura. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I mean... I guess a lot with things like facials and massages, like it's a very relaxing space. Yeah, you can't really be in this industry yeah. unless you are passionate. You have, you, it does help to be a calm person. Mm, I can imagine. Um, <clears throat> no matter what life throws at you. I mean, I just try to be calm and I just sail through like most people, but... Um, mm. This industry, people tend to judge you by your aura and, Aww. you know, how your knowledge as well. Yeah, I think, like, sincerity comes across really well. Yes, I mean, I think it's... Um, I just like to help people um, in a very holistic, um, positive way the best that I can. You do like so many interesting therapies as well. Like yes, 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 I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. There's so many that I do. That, yeah. um, but, you know, they it all happened over time. Yeah. Uh, you know, it wasn't something that you just, you know, do like that. You know, you, you have to build, up, build, build yourself up to mm. a certain standard, you know. Thank you, Melissa. So now I'm going to use the um, cuticle... Um, machine okay. on your nails to push them down and to get um to get rid of the cuticles I should say. So this machine actually when I push do some pushing down movements it helps to the circular movements. It's also taking away um the dry cuticles around it from the nail plate. And the higher I go, right now you're on number two, but I can go to number five. But because, that's when the nail plate, the nail, the cuticles are very a lot. Uh -huh. But because you don't have a lot to remove, mm -hmm. um, the pressure is okay for you um, at number two, fine. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. sleepy again. Oh my gosh, I better nickname myself the human sleep talk. I think there's something about nails as well, like the whole, I don't know something about it, it just puts me to sleep. Really? Yeah. I think, well, <coughs> you, you're a working class lady. So maybe, you know, somebody working on you and pampering you. <laughs> it just makes you feel relaxed. A bit of self-care. Bit of self-care, <laughs> bit of self-love. Um, yeah, I'm lucky I get a lot of self-care. I time. know, I know. <laughs> it's funny, though, because I do it so much. With the filming involved, it still sometimes feels like work. Yeah. I'm having to do all that part that like sometimes I find I struggle to relax but yeah. it's fun to it just me but this is a great way for you to relax yeah, and really also is. help other people yeah. as well relax I hope so. <laughs> you are too <laughs> and me as well So this tool, even though it's electric, it's very, very um, holistic on the nail plate. It's very gentle, as you can see, because mm. I'm not actually working on your nail plate itself. I'm just working around the cuticles. Yeah. And I'm not, and I'm not actually touching your skin or anything. Mm. I'm just solely concentrating on the hard cuticles that I've built up. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. The dust. Yeah. 
that will have built up since last time. Yeah, they look so much neater already. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> I have a I have a mini one at home, and it and it does you now help. I mean, you can get one and just put it in your bag, a mini one, and they're all battery. My one's battery operated, and it's a bit, it's about this height. So it's quite pretty. Yeah. yeah. And it's got all the different heads. That, but the main head is for this one and the pedicure one, which is a bit bigger. Aww. You know, I don't use the other heads because you don't really need them really. Aww. Most of them come with about five, five heads. So the trick is, is to hold the nails a little bit tightly so you can get a good grip of the, um, the nail, the cuticles, you know, mm. and the nail plate. So when the cuticles are removed, it promotes um, stronger, better nail plate, your growth of your nails, you know? Oh. When the cuticles are too thick, they mm. just sort of like slow down the blood supply. Oh, <coughs> I didn't know but that. when you push down the cuticle, that's why people, you see people always pushing down the cuticles because oh. it kind of like helps the ones that know what to do, it helps yeah. with the nail plate. Right. Yeah, when the cuticles are too thick, is that they can slow down because they're just resting on the nail plate. Mm. Now this is free from the cuticle, so now the cuticle feel, the nail plate will feel free to grow in mm. a healthy way. Yeah.
So I'm um, going to use another type of cuticle remover. This one's a bit more um, like a lotion, a bit more um, watery. Okay. Um, so this one can, so as you can see, <laughs> so <laughs> it gets a lot of the uh, derbis off from the nail plate of the dust and the uh, any remaining cuticles, um, dry cuticles that are remaining. This one's nice and gentle on the nail plate. Make sure you give it a good wipe <clears throat> to make sure that all the um, dust is removed and there's no cuticles remaining on the um, on the nail plate. And when you're applying this at home, just make sure you push down to make sure that everything's removed. There's nothing there left. Okay, so Thank we're going you. to proceed now with the exfoliation. Okay. So I need to get some water for okay. you and um, soak your hands in here. Can you please test the water to make okay. sure that yeah. the water's fine for you, Melissa? It's fine. It's fine? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to proceed now with um, the exfoliation stage of the um, luxury holistic manicure. That's the cream. Can I get you to wet your hands, one of them? Yeah. Oh, just wet. Yes, okay. Thank you. Remember how smooth they felt last time after oh. a while? You can put your hand in there, thank you. Oh, it smells really nice. Yeah, this is infused with um, frankincense, lavender, grapefruit, essential oils. Yeah, they're from a company called Fresh. No, they're not. No, they're called um, Spa Ritual, and they do lots of pampering, um, exotic um, body care products. Uh -huh. Cute. So I just let the hands soak, lovely. And while I'll just put a few more. So this has got essential oils in it, so it's going to help the hands um, relax. So what I've used on you, this is a natural origin and it's the ritual of Haman. Mm. So it's deeply purifying hot body scrub. But your hands is part of your body, so I use it as my exfoliating mm. for the hands as well. So it's deeply relaxing. Can you smell all those lovely essential oils? It smells so good. And can you see the little bits floating around? I can, yes. Yeah. So this is a seriously luxury um, hand exfoliation which is for the body as well so it can be for the hands it can be for the the feet the i, I use this as well on my on the back facial i do oh, back facial here do a back facial yeah you can have <clears throat> a oh. back facial so the back facial is the same as a normal facial yeah um you still get the um the mask put on the back because oh. a lot of people don't get a chance to reach their back when yeah. they go in the shower or the bath and the back um, has a lot of sebaceous glands oily glands and when they build up um, the back can become congested mm -hmm. you know yeah. 
and that's why a lot of people go for um, you know the back scrub is included in the black facial and also a mask and then I look through um, the magnifying light um, to look at the um, characteristics and the irregularities of the back you know sometimes you can spot moles on the back where people never knew they had them yeah because you just don't see it you just don't see them, especially when they go sunbathing. Yeah. And especially older people, they get moles. And then I can, um, it's a chance for the therapist like me to say, oh, by the way, did you know you, you have a mole there? Yeah. No, no, I didn't know. Yeah. And then they can go to the doctors and get it checked out. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, I do the back facial and you get a steam as well. Wow, yeah, you steam, so you steam out all the impurities yeah. as well from the back. Yeah, oh, that sounds fun. Oh. I've never, I've never really thought about my back. Yes, you know. Well, you're always welcome to have a back facial, <laughs> Melissa. You know that. Try out new things. Yes, you know, there's always new things to try out. We're all about Eve. You know. <laughs> so now I'm going to. We don't want the um, hands and the cuticles to get too soft. So I'm just going to get some fresh towels. I had them all laid out here for you. Oh, thank you. So just going to make sure, I'm going to make sure that all the exfoliant is off your hands. They are. So I'm going to so take soft. the, oh, so I'm going to take the bowl away. I'm going to wrap each hand, well, both of the hands in the fresh towel to make sure that they are truly dried. Dried because, um, as you know, when the hands are not um, dried thoroughly, they can get fungal infection. Always make sure you go in between the fingers so the hands are totally dried completely. Melissa <laughs> oh dear just give them a good dry to make sure that they are truly dried Can you check your hands, Melissa, to see yeah. that they're fully dried? Yeah, they feel okay. lovely. They feel so soft. Good. <laughs> yes, that's the essential oils within the, um, the, the hand scrub. So now I'm going to proceed um, with the hand mask. And while I'm getting that ready, I'm going to put on the, um, the, the mitts now as well. They take about five minutes to get heated up. So this hand mask is made with orange blossom and rosemary. And rosemary is known for its healing priorities as well. A lot of people nowadays are using rosemary. So this one is called the Repellishing Hand Mask and it's by the company Skin Truth. Okay, thank you. I love rosemary. I have some in my, on my balcony. That I really? Yeah. It's nice in the cooking as well, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's got multi uses, rosemary. For cooking, for your hair. Just give it a nice mix so we get a nice consistency. So when I apply it on the um, hand, it goes on more um, smoothly. See what I mean? It goes yeah, on better. Sort of in, like, yeah. Lumps, yeah. I've yeah. never thought of doing that. That's really smart. Yeah, it's like quite an even distribution. So 
So this is, like I said, a bit different from the normal manicure. This is a luxury manicure because it it's a heat treatment. So instead of me doing massaging at the end mm -hmm. on your hands and your, you know, arms, you have a heated mitts they go on instead mm -hmm. and they penetrate heat to bring a lot of healing to people with arthritis as well people with arthritis and uh, rheumatism arthritis as well they've been known to come for this treatment because it can help with that condition uh -huh. but you haven't got that condition no. you're just here as a pampering yeah. um, session <laughs> So these are the hand wraps. Mm -hmm. This feels very pump pumped. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, that's just to keep the heat in. This is for people that really do have dry cuticles. Well, you don't really mm -hmm. have dry cuticles, but um, they you do definitely have dry hands, though. Yes, so. your hands are dry, but your cuticles are not. Yeah. So this treatment would really help with dry hands, especially mm. um, as you don't actually use a moisturizer, <laughs> um, a hand cream, which you should do really, especially at night. Okay. Um, because in the winter time, our hands get all clapped and. Don't, don't they? And all dry. So yeah. I don't know how your hands survived <laughs> all these years without a hand cream. This yeah. is unheard of. I just kind of use the leftovers a bit on my skin. Oh and dear. I think I get used to the feeling of them I mean, you can dry. always inquire about an anti-aging, because you're over the age of 21, so yeah. you should be using oh. an anti-aging um, hand cream. And you can get one for sensitive skin as well. Yeah. Definitely try to find one. Yeah, just have that one at your bedside and one in your bag. So when your hands feel a bit dry. Yeah. Yeah, it's the bedside a good idea. Because a hand cream is different from your body cream. A hand cream is there to target the dry skin mm -hmm. and the dry cuticles. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That'll be my next my next homework. Oh. <laughs> so just gonna see if the heated mitts now. So now I'm going to proceed to put on the um, heated mitts, okay? I can really feel the moisturiser like... Yes, <coughs> this will seriously moisturise your nail plate, mm. your hands, your cuticles, everything. I think everyone should try this really at least once to see the difference between this and the normal manicure when the therapist massages the hands mm, yeah. and the arms. This is just as good, yeah. even better. It's really nice. Yes. So would you like, um, you know, because your nails have um, broken some of them, would you like the nail growth treatment? Oh, yes, Yes, please. like you had last time? Yes, that's okay. lovely. Let me know when the heat's coming down. Okay. Yeah, okay. So we can take them off now. Because the heat is quite intense, um, you don't need to have these on for too long. Mm. So I'm just going to take off the wraps. Put them away here. So now, as you can see, mm. the hand mask is still on. So mm. I've got enough to gently massage into your metal turtles. This is the bit here, palangeline. This is the bones of the hands. So we don't need any other creams because the hand mask is enough to proceed with the hand massage of the holistic luxury manicure. And your hands are nice and warm, aren't they? That's they where the are. heat. It's so nice. Yes, that's where the heat penetrated yeah. into the nail bed and into the hands. This would feel amazing in winter. Oh gosh, yeah. this is a very proper treatment in the winter time. Yeah, I can imagine. Because you know, people feel their hands lacking moisture. It's all mm -hmm. clapped, and all their nails look all brittly and. Mm. So a hand massage actually strengthens the um, 
the bones because the blood supply, the circulation is bring forth now. So it's really good for people who do suffer from um, circulation problems to their joints of their hands. I think this is going to last you for a week now, Melissa. Yeah. Do you know that even if you wash, your, obviously you're going to wash your hands, go in the shower, yeah. it's going to stay, your hands and your cuticles are going to stay moist for at least two weeks. Oh, God. I mean, the feeling is very different. They feel, like, so moist. Exactly. That's what yeah. we want your hands and your nails to feel really, really deeply moist. So that's why it's called a luxury... Um, holistic pedicure, a manicure, and um, I had the same treatment for the feet. Oh. The, um, they're funny shape. They're like booties, and these oh. ones are mixed. I put them on the lady today yeah. who had the foot spa, yeah. and part of it was the heated um, booties, oh. and then I massage her um, her leg and her feet like this. How I'm doing you. Oh, that must feel nice. It did. Exactly the same. <laughs> but instead of having a hand mask, mm. I had like the foot mask. Oh. Yeah. Which was made with peppermint extracts. So it was more cooling yeah. for her, you know. How do you do it when it's with feet? Is it on the floor? Yeah, or she, it on the she bed? sat down on the bed. She sat mm. here and I was there. Uh -huh. And then I had the foot tub there. And right. she put her foot in for the foot soak. And then I took it out when, it, when she was ready to take out her feet. And then I just proceeded everything, you know, the massage, everything. And I just pulled up the bed to support her back right. with the pillow. Oh, that sounds really relaxing. Yeah, they just well. um, relax, close their eyes, put their iPads on. Squeeze a little bit. Thank you. <clears throat> this is good for the blood circulation as well. Anything to do with the blood circulation brings nutrients to the nail plate, then right. it helps it grow. Okay. So don't be surprised by next week if your if your if your nails have got gummy like claws, you're gonna oh, say, Look what she's so done. <laughs> okay. Just good because I, I think I have quite poor circulation. Really? Yeah, oh my, my gosh. especially in winter my hands and feet are always quite cold. cold. And have yeah. you been to the doctors about it? It's not super bad. Mm. Like I think it's I've definitely seen people who've got it worse than me. Yeah, I know. So I've never yeah, been I've heard about it. people who actually they do suffer from bad circulation. Mm. Like all through the year, their 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 nails and their and their hands are just cold, and their feet. I think people in your comments are like they keep saying like Queen Annette though. They're like really I like said, you. I have <laughs> never had that love from anyone in my life. Not even my own family. Friends, I said, what's going on? But I always pray, I always thank God for Melissa's life because I said, well, this young lady, she's coming to my life, then she's filming me, and all these people are liking, and I think, who are these strangers? And they say, they're like, they know me, like Queen Annette's back, and Auntie Annette's back, and I'm thinking. So then when I see people, strangers, saying these things about, Oh, good night's sleep again. Whoa. Oh, don't I'm thinking, okay. this is amazing. I think, well, God's really using me in a positive mm. way, you know. I think so. I, I think knew that he always wanted to, because I'm, I'm a Christian, but mm. I didn't know how he wanted to use it mm. in that healing way. Yeah. But um, I'm not complaining, you yeah, know. I think being it's able just to so relax touchy. people with just your voice and your, like, demeanour is just something so innate that you must have like always had it. Yeah, I didn't and know. I didn't know that I had it. I think it's the voice as well. Yeah, it's yes, just... the voice and everything. And... Which is funny because it's just a normal voice, right? So yeah, I know, but... like you change it or anything. No. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad that like I can try out different treatments with you and yeah. show them. And, I mean, I love it because I get to have such a wonderful treatment. Exactly, and exactly. People, so, so. Um, I only put one coat on you last time. And as you know, with this uh, nail grow colour, they, it tends to just grow out. But mm. if I put two coats, hopefully the colour would last a bit longer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's just lovely shine to it.
Do you ever get like treatments yourself? Like, yes, I do. Yes, yes. I have my, um, a regular place that I go to, oh, that's and nice. um, yeah, I I'm looking for. Therapists. I'm I'm <laughs> looking for places though. Like I'm not saying that I'm not satisfied, but. I would like to find a place where I can get a good massage done, get my nails done. But, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes um, you go to a bigger place and the person who did your nails, they're not there anymore. They're yeah. there, but they're busy, busy with someone else. And then you think, you know, no, I really wanted to see that, that mm -hmm. lady. It happens at the hairdressers too, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. you know. If you get a good cut, it mm -hmm. doesn't guarantee you're going to get that same cut, is it? Yeah. So they're gonna they're drying now the uh, nail growth. Um. I love the shine of this polish though. It's yeah, so pretty. Yeah, you can take a screenshot of it. Yeah. Um, this is where it's from. You can get it from Definitely. all major department stores. Mm, very pretty. I think it's Boots or Superdrug, and mm. it's natural. What I like yeah. about this is not actually a nail polish. Yeah. Okay, Melissa, we come to the end of your oh. um, holistic luxury manicure. Oh, thank you so much. They're so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.